Hello and welcome to tutorial number 6. This time we're gonna go to, through some basic optimization for your map. Now, optimizing your map is something you should never completely forget because unoptimized maps can be unplayable and if they are you have basically just wasted wasted your time mapping so this is something you should really pay attention to every time. Now there's a lot of technical stuff behind optimization. Uh, I'm not gonna explain all of that to you. I'll link to the description some pages you can read more read about it more from but I will just explain to you how you can optimize with some basic methods. Now first I'm gonna explain a few terms I'm gonna be using on this tutorial. Uh, first one is polygon. These are two dimensional shapes with straight lines and the shape is always closed. I found a simple picture to show you what I mean. This is a polygon. It can be any shape as long as the uh, sides are straight and it's a closed, closed shape. Two dimensional shapes. Then you have V poly which is sor short from world polygon. Uh, this is the number of texture polygons that the engine draws for you or in other words number of them the game can see. Now this is the thing you should always keep as low as possible. Uh, when this gets too high it will start to cause some frame rate drops for the players making your map unplayable. Uh, the other one is e-poly which I don't actually know what this the longer version of this is but anyway it's the number of model polygons that the engine draws for you now if you remember in tutorial 4 when we placed those palm trees uh, these they are the things that increase this number you can go a lot higher with this uh, but there are limits to this too I will explain a bit more about that later uh, the last one is R speeds uh, we are going to use this to check the E poly and V poly of a map just the command you enter in the console it means render speeds basically the faster the rendering the smoother the gameplay is now I built a small example map in hammer to make it easier to explain these methods now I use basically three methods to optimize my maps first of them is the null texture I told you about this earlier, just add it to every single surface the players can see. All the outer walls, bottom of the boxes for example, bottom of these cylinders, even the top of them because the player is down here, he won't be able to see on the top so I can get add it to the top too. Basically every surface you manage to add this to will reduce the world polygons and it will improve the map performance and compile time and everything like that. The second method is the texture scale. I think I mentioned about this earlier too. Now basically the higher the scale is, the less word polygons you will have. So whenever you can, always increase the texture scale. I think the maximum maximum is 4, I don't, I'm not even sure, but I wouldn't recommend going higher than this. Always use a maximum of 4. Now it's very useful on big floors like this, or on the ceiling it still looks pretty good so for will suit fine here but for example these boxes can't really use anything else but one on these because they would look stupid so I have to use something like that but on this for example I think I used the yeah, A3 don't really notice any huge difference if I, if I would use one here so you can use use three with no problem. Now the problem with the texture scale on uh, brick walls like this is that you really can't go to 4 or well you can but as you can see it will look horrible. This would look best if I used the normal scale which is 1. That would look best but I decided I will use 2 because it still looks uh, pretty okay so doesn't bother me too much but anyway just increase the texture scale on every single surface you can. Now the third method is tying uh, blocks into the fun funk detail. Now if you remember, I don't know if you can still see it from the options uh, game configurations now, you remember we put the default solid entity class into funk detail. Now this is why, because 
basically everything that's inside the map should be tied into a funk detail not of course not every single item on the map but for example if you have some boxes and some pillars like this in a room you can all tie them all into one entity so basically these are now normal brushes but then I'm gonna select them all and then hit ctrl T and it will choose the funk detail by default so you can leave it like that now what funk detail do does uh, it this will be easier to explain in game but basically every block that you put in your map splits the uh, the block it's touching into multiple polygons now these cylinders for example they have eight uh, faces eight surfaces so each of these if I wouldn't tie them to funk detail it will it they will cut the floor into eight different kind of polygons so so just cylinders like this with maybe 12 faces or something like that they are the absolute worst for the polygons so always use funk detail on uh, something like this if you can you can use funk detail on pretty much everything that's inside the map but remember that entities cannot seal up maps so you can't make a wall uh, funk detail for example if it's touching the whatever you call the shit or you can't make the floor or the walls or the ceiling funk detail if they are kind of sealing the map but anything inside you can tie in the funk detail now those are the short methods I have here an optimized room as you can see null everywhere big scales funk detail used this is a map that has a room that hasn't been optimized at all it's almost identical texture scales are one everywhere uh, and these are not tied into funk detail and there is no null texture anywhere I'm gonna show you the difference between these between these rooms in game now I already compiled this map to make this a bit faster now when you want to check the performance on a map you're gonna have to use the command map and then the map name. This way you will be able to enter the dev developer mode in game. So map tutorial 6 or I named mine tutorial 6 you can check any map you want like this like that. I have this uh, training block in here so I can float around freely. Now you're gonna type to console de de developer 1 like that then you're gonna write R speed 1 then you're gonna put GL wireframe you can use 2 or you can use 1 now 2 uh, will draw every single polygon for you that the engine thinks you can see and 1 will draw every single polygon that you can actually see, see from here so I'm gonna use 1 now now as you can see this is the room that hasn't been optimized this is what I mean by splitting into polygons you can see every single shape like this is a polygon now straight edges it's a closed shape now the cylinders as I said as you can see they will split the floor into so many polygons right now really not good for player frame rate also the boxes everything everything that's touching the floor will do this now you could avoid the splitting if you uh, lifted these boxes for example if you lift them one unit of the ground it will prevent this splitting from happening but it will make some really weird shadow effects so I really recommend using the funk detail instead now if I go f to the upper corner like this for example and now if I check the polygons from the upper left corner you can see that this room is maximum 181 V poly at the moment. It's zero E poly because I don't have any models here. So 181. Now as you can see also on the walls 
when the scale is 1 this is how it will split ok so as I was saying you can see on the walls how it will split because the texture scale is 1 at the moment so you might think you just have one surface here but actually it will split into what 8 polygons instead of 1 so this is the room that's not optimized 181 world polygons now let's move to the room next to this looks a bit better doesn't it these are all funk detail that means they are not cutting into the floor at all and because the floor scale it's 4 now or the texture scale is 4 you can see it's just the one just one big polygon with one split here all these cylinders they are funk details they're not splitting anything and the maximum V poly for this room is something like 61 I think you can see it from the upper left corner again now with these simple things we did tied these into a funk detail we just reduced the world polygons by three times compared to the unoptimized room so you can just imagine what this will do on a bigger map and as you can see the texture, texture scale on the walls is was it two or three two I think so instead of eight polygons per wall you now have like two max maybe so really simple methods easy methods to use to optimize your map and they will help a lot as you can see gonna one more time gonna show you this is as you can see no splits or unnecessary splits anywhere if you go here it's full of those so really keep your maps optimized that way more players will be able to enjoy them now I realized I completely forgot to talk about the actual limits uh, of the engine that you can you can use so I'm gonna show these things on one of my maps death from privateers for example so again the map command then the map you wanna check you go in I'm gonna type developer 1 uh, R speeds 1 and GL wire frame 1 maybe now to tell you a little about this maybe uh, these bo boxes you can see here these planks these small seats they are all funk detail as you can see they they don't cut the floor anyway uh, the sand is texture scale 4 so as you can see not so many polygons from it either the walls were 2 or 3 I think so pretty pretty well optimized too now in the spawn area you as you can see the max V poly is around 400 maybe that's fine won't cause any lack to anyone and the E poly is around 4300 that won't cause lag either it's still in acceptable limits now if I go into the ship part now this I understand this map is a bit heavy a bit heavy on the uh, older pieces I kinda went close to the limits on this one but if I look at the player position like this you can see the V poly goes as high as 1800 sometimes now that's really started to be near the limits good pieces can handle this for example my uh, computer has no problem but the older pieces might, might already have problems with this now how I optimize this map for example or how I optimize the ship all these boxes and cylinders they are funk detail here all the, especially something like stairs you should always make them funk detail so there will be as little cuts as possible all these boxes too texture scales on the uh, deck here it was 3 or 4 I'm not actually sure what it was the E poly stays below 5000 which is pretty good the actual limit I don't know what the actual limit for this is but I think if you go V poly 
uh, over 2000 I think that's the point when all the older computer will start to lag so try to keep below that and with ePoly I would say keep it below 10,000 and you'll be fine when it goes above that you might have some trouble now what you should avoid in your maps is huge areas are areas with water which is exactly what I did here <laughs> something you should not do but anyway it was kind of in inevitable on this map so I had to use it also you should avoid big huge open areas like this exactly what I didn't avoid on this but <laughs> that's too something I couldn't avoid because I wanted to do this pirate ship so avoid huge pools of water avoid huge open areas like this and just keep the amount of blocks to the uh, keep, it, keep it as small as you can and also the amount of models never put them all over the map just put them on some places like this couple palm trees make it look a lot better but don't really reduce the player frame rate so those are some of the things you should you should avoid and some things you should be doing while mapping